since Spaces. G'day invaders, welcome to Since Spaces, and we are doing a drone video. I am down to one battery. We are in sort of sunny Com Como. Um, I tried filming before in another location. It was all quiet, empty, and as soon as I got the drone out, kids started popping up from nowhere. So I, <laughs> I flew it around. I just didn't commentate. I'm not good at talking in front of people, strangers around me. So anyway, let's just get this bird up. We're just going to just take you around the sunny sights of Sydney. So here we go. We're going to be doing the takeoff. It's right behind me. There we go. I'm a little wary of taking off from uh, here because you've got the trees above, but it should be okay. Just get it out there, out of harm's way. And we are recording, so we should be getting footage any second now. And this is George's River. Now, a couple of things. Uh, there's a couple of rules. I hate hearing about the rules, but they are important. Uh, they like having the bag out of sight. I don't know what you're... It's, it's not like there's anyone around. I just feel like maybe that there's something going on behind me and I can't see it. But yeah, there's a couple of rules. You, you're not allowed to fly if you can't see it. But where I am here now, got a very good vantage point you can definitely see very far so that over there is the Como bridge that links up uh, the rail from Sutherland Shire and Sydney South to the rest of Sydney and then you got the uh, older bridge next to it which has become a um, just a walking path let's get it popped in the sports mode let's get this bird moving so I can't hear it uh, well actually I can I can still see it just over there it sounds like a high-pitched mosquito actually someone's just pointing at it that's the first time that anyone ha has noticed my drone up in the air I just saw a fish flying in the, in the air that's pretty cool <laughs> all right anyway back to so there's a couple of rules in Sydney. You're not allowed to fly if you can't see it. Well, I've definitely got line of sight, so I can still see it. Um, you're not allowed to fly it within 30 meters of people. The rule is pretty much just there to stop people from badgering people, you know, and pestering them. So that's understandable. You're not allowed to fly the drones at night. That's another rule here in Australia. I know in America you can fly it as long as you've got um, a strobe light attached to it, but that's not the case here in, here in Australia. Uh, you're probably better off flying it in the daytime anyway because, well, just look at the view. <laughs> so this is a new battery, so we should get 25 minutes of flight time at least I tend to want to bring it in though within 20 uh, at least within 20 minutes I'm just sticky beaking around and this is parts of the river that I really haven't been to often we are a good 1.5 uh, kilometers away. I can hear a train coming over, but you won't be able to see it. I don't think. Still got half a signal. <laughs> so this is probably famous last words but these are almost impossible to to lose i do have a weak signal just popped up now and i might yeah we're going to be returning to home 
Hey, we've lost signal. So it's just out there doing its thing. It will pop, it will do a U turn and come home after a little while. But once you pop it uh, 40, at least 40 or 50 meters up in the air, you've really got nothing to hit up there except birds. Um, which I can see a couple of birds looking, I don't know, 30 meters up. You generally don't find many birds flying 50 meters up in the air. You're allowed to fly it at 120 meters height. I'm telling it to come home. And we should get a signal any second. There we go. Cancel that return to home. So we'll just fly it now on our own steam. There we go, we got our signal back. Oh no, still okay, there we go. It, for you guys, you'll see a perfect signal, a uh, perfect video, but for me, it's coming in and out. <laughs> so yeah, I wanted to get more footage today. What is that floating in the water? something in the water here. It's a dude? Is that a guy? Let's get this drone over. Sorry, but as I'm flying this, I've noticed uh, something swimming in the water and I don't, can't quite make out what it is. Oh, it's a... Oh God, I should have gone to Specsavers. It's a duck! <laughs> the top of the duck looked like a snorkel or something. I couldn't make sense of that. Alright. Well, that, that's me making a tit of myself for the video. So, yeah, I was down at the bottom right there. You can see a bunch of dirt at the bottom right of the bridge. And that's like a BMX track, uh, which I thought would be a perfect spot. But do you know what BMX tra tracks attract? I say that fast. Yeah, kids. So, and when I say kids, they're at least 17 or 16, smoking, nothing's changed. So I'm down there on the uh, right at the end of that little peninsula type thing. Oh, we've got, we got a train coming over. Let's see if we can swing it. Oh, we're right above it. How's that for a view? I didn't mean to fly above the train when it was coming over. It wasn't there when I moved. <laughs> That's an awesome view. So this is a two-line track, um, which restricts basically how much traffic can be on that trainway. And at night time, you hear the coal trains coming in and it, it's so loud it just echoes right throughout our valley. Ah, I didn't mean to go higher, I wanted to go forward. I always do that. Now there's a fault with this um, uh, drone. The gimbal kicks down when you go to, um, there's another, oh no, that's, I can hear it now. Um, yeah, the gimbal kicks down. They tried fixing it with the last update, but it, I don't think it really did the trick. And I can hear it now, right above me. So that there is Como Hotel, and it's, I'm not sure if it's still heritage listed. I'll come in at a different angle. Uh, so yeah, that there is Como Hotel, and that um, sadly burnt down in, um, oh God, I think it was the 90s. Not sure, but uh, they rebuilt it because it was so popular. It's a heritage. It was a heritage listed building. I'm not sure if it still is, but um, might just. Uh, and a fish just jumped up in front of me. That's funny. <laughs> funny you guys could see that. Now over there in the distance, uh, you can see my hometown which is Chinelli which is the next suburb over as another train passes by.
still got 12 minutes left of footage to go, or flight time to go. Well, let's just, I don't know, take a gander. Maximum yeah, 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 I know. Shush, shush, shush. It's nagging me because I'm too high. Now, I need to be careful. I'm not going higher, calm down. I shouldn't be going um, above traffic. So that's Como Station. Might bring it back around over the river. There we go. And we've got a baby coming our way. Of course. So I'm going to bring it in. Should start to hear it. Here we go. Should we should start here at any second? Now, normally when I'm flying this thing, people can't hear it. And I've flown it on a few videos in the past, and no one pays any attention to it. But it is so still today and it is so quiet that you can hear it for quite a bit. And I just saw a few people pointing at it as it just went past them then. Go into cinema mode. I've never used this mode much. Just checking out doing donuts laps of of uh i don't know it's, just, it's not quite a harbor just a little junction here of the two rivers joining up actually got four rivers uh sort of combining where the bridge is it's a rather complicated little waterway now that's us right ahead there on a new flat tree And I might do what's... Oh, actually no, because I've got to record. I was just thinking to do a droney, but you've got to stop recording the video, so maybe for another time. And I didn't realise someone was walking towards me until I saw it on the screen. <laughs> there we are. Alright, I kick it into sport mode and just ping off. Ah, she's warning me. Might bring it back around. So this thing flies back automatically. You do not need to touch a thing. You tell it to come home. She comes home. She goes, it will go to the set height. I set it at 100 meters. I set it that high because I just do not want to risk hitting anything and it's still gaining attitude to come and we're getting some amazing shots in the process while waiting so yeah it, it goes up to a hundred meters and then it will make its way to just above where you are and then descend down now on its way down normally I don't watch it it just does its thing but today I have to be careful because we've got a tree just nearby here. I did take off pretty close to the tree. So I'm not a hundred percent not a hundred percent sure it's gonna miss the tree. So I'm just gonna be careful on that. You can hit the pause button at any time and it will stop it from descending and avoid a drama. That's great view. <laughs> That's an awesome view. Alright, so so far it looks like it's missing. The wind is just catching it now a bit, so it's trying to correct itself. It looks like it's going to miss the tree though, so that should be alright. 
I just wrote about it hitting the chair. Huh? And I'm gonna pause that. Doesn't like the surface. Back away from that tripod. That's the first time I've had a critical battery. It didn't like the landing surface. It was just like, no, nah, I don't want to land there. It was being a little precious, but we got it down in the end. Um, yeah, nothing too exciting. I hope you like that. I hope to do more of these little drone videos. Drop a subscription if you can, if you want to see more of these. I generally do video game related videos, but I thought since I've got this toy, which has got better graphics than any video game console that I've got, I thought I'd take this out for a spin. It uses a joystick too. So anyway, I'm going to leave it at that. My name has been Brian and I've been gaming since Spaceys. Thanks guys. Since spaces.